Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K14 NBA Finals gameplay. As you can see, the series is tied 1-1. We pulled off a big road victory in game 2 to keep the series manageable at a 1-1 pace. And now, we're at home trying to defend home court and this is a monumental game 3. It's the NBA Finals. Games don't get any bigger than this. Like I said in the previous video, there's no tomorrow, man. You gotta get all the games you can. And right now, we're trying to get that. But look at James Harden going coast to coast and dunk that one then he trying to get the block but oh man james harden was having none of that gallinari misses the shot once again rocket starting up a fast break chandler parsons trying to take it coast to coast but denny tice gets the block and denny has been a blocking machine i'm not sure if it's denny tice or the kembe matumbo in that cavaliers jersey the way this series is gone i think he had like five blocks the first game four the second game already one in this game pulling up a three pointer and getting that one to go rockets off to a blistering start but denny trying to quiet them up here but look at I'm wearing Ashik there, forcing it in, and um, the Rockets they're playing the Twin Tower lineup in this final. They got Ashik, who's a oh wow, what the hell? First of all, before I get to that point, this dude's trying to go and shack and fool in the NBA Finals. Come on, Dion Waiters, we're trying to win a championship here. But yeah, Omar Ashik and Dwight Howard are playing Twin Towers up there. Ashik playing power forward, so. Um, at least that means the um, four won't be too crazy spaced when the starters are out there. But um, one thing about our team is that Deion Waiters is starting and Kyrie Irving is not. Is then he gets the block again on Dwight Howard. But unfortunately, the Rockets are killing us on the glass. Which has nothing to do with Kyrie Irving not being here. But Kyrie Irving is not here. He was injured the previous game. And even though he played out the rest of the game with the injury, he is out for the rest of the finals. He's out one to two weeks only. But that's going to be the rest of the finals. So... You know, we're just going to have to try to do it out Kyrie Irving win this championship. And it might as well be that way because Kyrie was injured for half the playoffs. He was injured when I got on the team as Dwight catches the alley-oop. And now he's injured in the NBA Finals. So, this is the way I started when I came on the Cavs. I was the starting point guard. Deion Waiters the starting shooting guard. That's how Deion Waiters got the nickname Wet Wet Waiters. And, uh, you know, Deion Waiters is wildly inconsistent, unlike Patrick Beverly, who knocks down every single three he attempts. But, I mean, he did have that game winner in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals that sent us to the NBA Finals. So, you know, Deion, he can step up. And Denny Tice, another block shot. That's three in the first quarter alone. As I believe Parsons tries to line up three and doesn't get it to go. Parsons or Caspi? Might have been actually Caspi there. But, um, nonetheless, we start off a break of our own. And Denny Tice zigging, zagging, and not pinging home the three there. Can't get that one to go there. Rockets up early in this first quarter. Then they get the steal from Tice just poking the ball loose and unfortunately that's going to be a turnover and two easy points here carlos delfino lines up the three but can't get it to go rock is trying to get a double digit lead and that's what they end up getting a double digit lead early on in the second quarter so we have a hole to try to dig ourselves out of and getting a steal is definitely a way to dig ourselves out of that hole as well as throwing up a lob to Dion waiters waiters doesn't finish it but he gets or finish it with a dunk but he still gets the two points and look at patrick beverly relax bro who is this guy? It, I, and what did he do with Patrick Beverly? He just hit a step back over me for like no reason. Beverly with 10 points, taking quite a lot of shots in this game. And I mean, I'm not playing the greatest defense, I'll admit that, but Patrick Beverly, really? And unfortunately, this ends up being a backcourt. I get the steal, but I take a step. Just my momentum carried me um, to the backcourt, and it ends up being a turnover as soon as I forced one. And Dwight Howard here getting a foul there, but it doesn't really matter since it wasn't a shooting foul, just a blocking foul. They got an inbound, and Denny Tice gets the steal and blows by Patrick Beverly before dunking all over him for those two points. And we're starting to get the comeback going with the and one dunk. Patrick Beverly gets called for the foul, and then look at that Francisco Garcia and Shaq in a fool just throwing it right to Gallo and Gallo helps us cut the lead down now for the tie Karasov can't get it to go and Dwight Howard has been a monster early on in this first half so you know it's been Dwight Howard and Patrick Beverly we gotta try to stop those two and James Harden's getting his shots every here and there but for the most part we have Harden limited so that's good news just like the last game we had Dwight limited this time it's Harden as Anthony Bennett throws up one of the worst alley-oops you'll ever see. That was not even close to the hoop. And now we're going to head to halftime. Then he gets a good two-minute rest of the half. And now we're going to listen to Dwight. Dwight. Howard and Dwight, you looked really strong so far tonight. What's been your approach? I'm just trying to play with a lot of energy. I'll do the best I can on the defensive end to help my teammates out. Uh, most hard. Dwight, thank you so much. Kevin, one of the most intimidating defenders in the league. 
there's a major contrast in Dwight's stats from the last game after the first half and this time. Well, last time it was 0 for 0. This time, he's catching lobs to start the second quarter and he's already at 20 points as um, Asha gets blocked there by Anthony Bennett. Anthony Bennett had a really up and down game as Deion Waiters spots up and does not knock down the 3. And um, when he was making bad plays, they were really bad. And when he was making good plays, they were good. And then he takes him to dunk. Why do you miss dunk so much in 2K, man? I, I swear, you don't miss dunks that much in real life. But in 2K, y you'll see like one miss dunk a game, it feels like. It's weird. As we get the pick and roll going in the third quarter. And now is the point of attack. I realized that Dwight Howard was completely dominating his matchup against Bynum as well as Zeller. So what I decided to do in the second half was make a con consensus effort to... I hope I said that right. To get um and uh, Andrew Bynum involved in the game and try to get Dwight Howard into some pick and rolls and take him out the paint so we could get our own stuff in the paint and it was working early on so you see Anthony Bennett spotting up and knocking down that three-pointer there to give us the lead here midway in the third quarter so that was you know a good I that was definitely a good game plan and was definitely working it definitely carried us to keep um get the lead here you see Dwight Howard get the ball in the paint and we finally play some lockdown defense on the main two guys the main two stars on this team Dwight Howard and apparently Patrick Beverly as um Karasov gets that bucket to go tough finish in the paint, he gets it, and you see we're trying to get the steal from Beverly, and we do just enough to force him to a backcourt violation, I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely reaching in there and just forced him in, it wasn't really anything skilled, but hey, I'll take it, man, with all the cheese 2k pulls on you, I'll take it if we get some of it right back, as Tyler Zeller makes a run to the paint and gets the layup to go, and even though Bynum's on the bench, I'm still gonna abuse this pick and roll, especially since Terrence Jones is at the 5 spot, Terrence Jones is not a center, especially defensively, and we are gonna to make sure we make a good point of that as we get who blocks but Terrence Jones third time is the charm there and they're killing us on the offensive boards at this point I'm like what the hell is the um thing what the hell is the thing and it's um 10 to nothing like really that's the advantage on the offensive boards god damn it man we need to get at least one board it's one thing that they got 10 offensive rebounds we have none. By the way, that was my phone that was ringing. I hear that little pinball noise. But <laughs> I'm not bad for that. As we pull up the three-pointer and don't get it to go near the end of the third quarter. Try to get that three there. Instead, we both miss three-pointers. And the lead stays around like three points heading into the fourth quarter. And it's going to be one of those close games in the fourth quarter. We'll see who can execute as Beverly knocks down another three. Beverly has not missed a three-pointer this entire game. Meanwhile, I don't think Binos missed a shot in the second half. He comes off to start the fourth quarter. And he is still on fire here. We get the steal, throwing up the lob to Dion Waiters, and Dion gets it to go, and the lead balloons to nine points. Big time plays being made, but unfortunately, Dion can't continue it. Like I said, Dion Waiters is wildly inconsistent, and not only did he miss the shot, it allowed James Harden to go close to coast, well, not close to coast, just getting that fast break there and leaking out and getting that um, dunk to go there. But here comes Denny Tice. Beverly may be six for six on threes. 2K, what the fuck? But I mean, Denny Tice is doing his thing from three point range. And check out Anthony Spendant. Speaking of what the hell is going on, really, dude? Really? So, you know, that's going on. Then Patrick Beverly is doing his best Steph Curry out here, pulling up the jumper. Like, okay, I mean, I, I really don't know what to do about that. I really don't. And here, near the end of the shot clock, just got to force a shot up. Anthony Bennett passes me back the ball. Can't get it to go. I just see Denny has been a great facilitator this game. 20 assists. But unfortunately, James Harden is going to the lane and just uncontested getting that dunk. And now it's only a three-point game until Denny gets a dunk. Actually, the... Harden got a layup, but that was a dunk by Tice, and this is also a layup by Tice. Relax, relax, just a layup, but more importantly, it's a seven-point lead. It's Patrick Beverly trying to create shots, getting contacted, and still getting it to go. I even got good shot defense for that one. Like, come on, man. I'm trying my hardest out here. I'm also kicking it out to Waiters, and Waiters coming up big, getting that three to go, ballooning the lead back up to eight points, and like I said throughout the series, we just gotta outshoot them, because Patrick Beverly's in God mode right now, and, you know, we just got to keep on scoring while they keep on scoring and an easy way to score is when you got James Harden on you in the paint because you know James Harden won't do jack he doesn't play defense but he definitely plays offense not only driving it for the foul it's also a goal to Harden converts and it's only a three-point game with two minutes to go and Dwight Howard blocks a Denny Tice three-point attempt I'm like give me that back Dwight Dwight gets it back give me that back Dwight and this time Bynum gets the bucket to go a chance to tie the game instead Dwight turns it over and Denny Tice almost gets blocked, but converts the dunk there. Big change there, and it's a five. 
point cavalierly trying to take this mo monumental game three but Harden wants to make an impact he gets once again a free run to the rim three point game kicking out to Deion Waiters back to Anthony Bennett oh he's got it to go Anthony Bennett making up for all the mistakes he's made with that big time three pointer here Denny Tice driving and drawing a big foul on Dwight Howard Tice converts free throws and once again James Harden to the rim but this time there's a pain precedence I believe Andrew Bynum comes up with the big time block here end of the shot clock waiters oh come on Dion it's still a six point game Rockets need to attack fast they definitely need a three pointer James Harden attempting the two almost gets blocked gets it to go we'll definitely take that rather than get the two to end the three and now they pretty much have to foul from here and hopefully miss free throws and they hit threes I knocked them both my free throws and Beverly instead of going for the three takes the two knocks down I believe um bind them there but it's really matter because it's another two point shot and we'll just go to the free throw line again I'll knock down two free throws so they want to get two I'll get the two right back at the free throw line they can't even foul me I'm running away before Beverly finally gets that I knocked down both free throws again trying to guard the three point line but once again the Rockets continue to attack the paint Harden gets fouled but once again they're gonna you know take two we'll get the two right back and they don't even get two that time Harden misses the second free throw and Denny Tice continues to pad his stats at the line going over 50 points and eventually after a long drawn out process we come to through with the victory big time game three victory we're up to one in the series now so hopefully next time we can get that game four can we give up game four and the series is right back tie and it's the best of three and so um we'll see if we can get that game hope you guys leave a like in the video if you enjoyed this subscribe for more nba 2k 14 micro games and i will catch you guys for game four the nba finals